Okay, so one of the members on the forums asked for a tutorial on crafting, so I thought I would just do a quick video. The, the crafting system isn't that hard to understand. This involves farming of materials, converting the materials, and crafting the item itself. And you basically begin crafting with the three main skills. You have herb collecting, mining, and drop collecting. Herb collecting gives you herbs which allows you to do potion production. Mining gives you uh, ores which allows you to do armor and weapon production. Well, metal armor production and leather is acquired from trap collect which allows you to well create leather armor and these skills as they get higher in level you can start to farm for better materials such as a level 2 skill will allow you to farm for iron but all a level 1 skill will only allow you to farm for copper these skills can usually be upgraded via quests you gain at level 10 level 30 and I'm assuming it just increases every 20 levels until you reach level 7 as you level up the skills you gain skill points as you can see I, I leveled these three up so I gained enough skill points to increase this by 4 mm, yeah I think so the materials tab allows you to transform your ores collected from mining such as titanium, um, iron, copper, silver into ingots which is used in the actual production. And as you can see yeah, each step upgrade allows you to refine better ingredients. So while a level 1 skill only allow you to refine copper, level 2 would allow you to refine iron and so on and so forth. Weapon craft tab will allow you to create weapons. Now, as you increase this skill, you unlock these tears sword craft, firearm, magic, and assassin glass. Of course, you should choose a tab which suits your class, or you can go for all and just become a weapon crafting merchant if you want. Of course, the assassin glass isn't out yet. Oh, and I should mention the weapon craft uses ores from mining. Armor craft just starts with weapon. As you increase the skill of armor craft, you begin to craft higher grade of armor. And once this is maxed, you can go into your territories. Metal armor for warriors, leather armor for gunners, fabric armor for magicians, and I'm guessing thief uses leather armor as well. Consumables is your potion production tab. Lets you produce potions such as well, HP up potions which increase your maximum health, mana up potions which increase your maximum mana, and so on and so forth. So let's actually get this underway. Now you gain materials from the nodes found around the map. They are usually green dots. When you're not in a town, when you're in a town, the green dots are people. But when you're in the map, the green dots are usually the nodes. And the nodes usually tell you what you can farm from there. So if the node says minor herb of healing, then you can harvest a minor herb of healing herb. But however, the special property of metal nodes is that they have a bonus chance of acquiring a necessary material. So if I went to mine copper, I might have a chance of mining tin. If I might mine iron, I have a chance of gaining silver. Now each of these bonus are used in actual material processing. Now I don't think I have enough materials to actually craft this time, but still oh I do have enough materials, okay. So all these materials can be farmed from the nodes. And usually you have a chance of gaining one, two, three, up to five I've gotten so far. 
I don't know if it goes high or not. Here you see the NPCs that deal with the metal crafting. The metal armor master of course allows you to craft metal armor and it also allows you to create metal ingots which are used in crafting. And the blacksmith allows you to create weapons. Once you have enough materials for crafting, such as 10 iron and 1 silver to create 1 iron ingot or 1 steel ingot, you can go to the craft menu, materials, mineral processing, and as you can see, I have enough to create 3 steel ingots. So I'll just create 3 while I'm here. I should mention, you have a chance of gaining material like gold and platinum again from the see any any crafting point that you farm copper titanium all of that from as you can see each of these is actually upgraded mithril points which also gives you crystal that's the unique thing about this when you go into the crafting window it also tells you what the potential bonus node is so if I went to a copper node I could farm copper with a bonus chance for tin. I could, I could farm iron with a bonus chance for silver. I could farm chromium with a bonus chance for jade and so on. As you see, these I'm not entirely sure of yet because they are at a higher level. I'll probably work on that later, but I suspect they still involve mining to a point. But not a lot of the materials is actually craft a weapon. So you go into weapon craft. Now you can either browse each of these down, drop downs separately and find what you can create, or click this little box right there next to craftable. What that does is it allows you to pick, or only yeah, to pick to show only those items you have material for, and it shortens the drop down list. As you can see, now it only shows what I create. There are no red items. As I'm a launcher gunner, let's create a launcher. When you click on our crafting place, you can see it points out what items are required to create it. Steel ingot, platinum, leather string. And what are the stats of the item that will be on the left. As a special steel dual guns. I don't want a dual gun, I want a launcher. Special steel launcher. As you can see the materials are pretty much the same for a dual gun and launcher. Maybe just in different amounts. I'll go ahead and create that. Oh. And that's crafting. Each NPC allows you to craft items specifically. The blacksmith, the metal armor deals with metals you gain from metal loads. Then there's a leather worker who deals with leather crafting. As you can see, you can craft leather items, but I don't have enough materials. Then there is also the pharmacist who creates potions, but I've never found her in this town. I know she's in other town, but I never found her here. Now for the actual nodes. When you're around town, you can actually farm nodes. I guess I'll show you one of the nodes right now. See if we can actually find any nodes. I'll pause right here until I find one. Okay, it took a while, but I found a node. As you can see, this is a node for a trap which allows me to collect leather from. You can collect on your pet, or you can dismount. And if your pet is special enough, you could even send your pet to collect. Like mine has right here. 
as you can see these green dots on the mini map show any nodes you can farm from of course these are for quest but otherwise that's about it for the crafting system it's not hard it, it involves a lot of time in farming the materials because the materials do not spawn right away sometimes the materials might take forever to spawn sometimes the, you might get lucky and they spawn right in front of you other times you might lose the sound because you just can't find the nodes you need so you know, recrafting it's not an in I wouldn't say it's hard to learn but it's in depth as it has a lot of items you can make the skill tree of course has so much variety like right now I'm just specializing in material processing that's another thing I don't believe that you can max every skill in the crafting menu unless you get a special item or very very lucky so you would most likely have to pick a specific profession like I am right now, I'm specializing in material production. I may branch off into weapon production if I so choose it. But yeah, that's about it. Have fun playing the game, it's pretty fun. Stay frosty.